Kansas ABCs. Today we're going to talk about Kansas by traveling through the alphabet from A to Z. Kansas has so many fun and interesting things to talk about, and we could only choose 26, one for each letter of the alphabet. I'm sure many of you might make different choices than we did for some letters. Kansas is the place to be. Let's see Kansas A to Z. A is for airplane. Kansans began making and flying airplanes not long after the airplane was invented. We made so many airplanes here that Wichita, Kansas became known as the air capital of the world. Airplanes are still made in Wichita today. B is for bison. A long time ago, the bison shared itself with the American Indians that lived here so they would have food, clothing, and shelter. When settlers moved into the new state of Kansas, the bison was hunted almost to extinction. That means there were almost no bison left alive. Luckily, Kansas is once again home to the bison, and it is our state mammal today. C is for capital. The Kansas State Capitol Building is in the city of Topeka. This is where laws for the state of Kansas are made, where the governor of the state of Kansas has an office, and where artwork telling the story of Kansas is on display. You and your family are invited to visit our beautiful Capitol Building. People visiting the Capitol can even climb 296 steps to the top of the dome. That's the highest part of the entire building. It's the point of the roof in this picture of the Capitol. D is for Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Raise your hand if you've seen the movie The Wizard of Oz. You know, my hand is up. The Wizard of Oz is actually both a book and a movie. In the story, a Kansas farm girl named Dorothy is transported to the imaginary land of Oz. There she meets a scarecrow, a tin man, and a lion who help her return home to Kansas. This is a picture of a very old Wizard of Oz toy in the collections of the Kansas Museum of History. E is for Eisenhower, and more specifically for President Eisenhower. Dwight D. Eisenhower grew up in Abilene, Kansas, and became the 34th President of the United States. While he was President, Eisenhower created the Interstate Highway System. Many people drive across the great state of Kansas on interstate highways today thanks to President Eisenhower. I bet many of you have ridden on them too. F is for farming. Farming is very important in Kansas. Farmers grow wheat, corn, soybeans, cotton, milo, and many, many other crops. This photo shows a farmer harvesting a field of wheat. Growing wheat on Kansas farms is so important that Kansas is known as the breadbasket of the world. Why breadbasket, you might ask? Because most bread is made from wheat. G is for grass. At one time, native prairie grasses like those in this picture covered most of Kansas and the Great Plains. It fed wild animals like bison, deer, and antelope, and later fed domestic animals like cattle, sheep, and goats. Today, the Flint Hills of Kansas is one of the last remaining pieces of native prairie grass in the whole United States. H is for Home on the Range, the Kansas State Song. A long time ago, a man living in western Kansas wrote a poem about the log cabin he lived in. He had a friend who played the guitar, and that friend decided to turn the poem into a song by putting the words to music. Even though there was no post office, no telephones, and no computers, people still heard the song, and they loved it. Home on the Range is still sung today especially on Kansas Day. This is a piece of Home on the Range sheet music in the collection of the Kansas Museum of History. I is for I love Kansas. If you love Kansas, raise your hand. I know my hand is up in the air. There are so many great things to love about Kansas, from the wide open skies to the wonderful people who live here. One thing I love about Kansas are the wildflowers that grow here when the weather is warm. 
J is for January, a very important month for Kansans because January 29th is Kansas Day. January 29th is the day Kansas became a state, which makes it Kansas's birthday. It's a day when Kansas show their love and pride for Kansas. K is for Kanze, the American Indian nation that Kansas is named after. You may also have heard them called the Kaw or the Kansa. Long before Kansas became a state, the Kanze lived here. Their name means wind people. The Kanze nation was eventually forced to leave Kansas and move to Indian Territory, which is now Oklahoma. Several years ago, they created a memorial park near Council Grove, Kansas, on the site of the last Kaw Indian village in Kansas. L is for Little Jerusalem Badlands State Park, the newest state park in Kansas. This park contains tall rock spires and rugged cliffs created when most of Kansas was at the bottom of an ancient ocean. Just imagine, at one time there were fish and sharks and mosasaurs swimming in and out of all the rocks in this picture. This looks like what I think the bottom of the ocean looks like today. M is for Mount Sunflower. It may not look it from this photograph, but Mount Sunflower is the highest point in Kansas. It's in western Kansas, very close to the state line where Kansas and Colorado meet. It isn't a hill, and it isn't a mountain, but it is the highest point in Kansas, and it's on land created from the sand and gravel that wore off the Rocky Mountains, moved east as it traveled downstream millions of years ago, and created our very own Mount Sunflower. N is for Niwala. And I bet that's a word many of you haven't heard before. Niwala is actually the word Halloween spelled backwards. Niwala is the word under the picture. N-E-E-W-O-L-L-A-H. But if you read it backwards, start at the H at the end, it is H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. And that spells Halloween. The city of Independence began holding a Niwala parade over 100 years ago. The festivities grew so big that today there are three Niwala parades instead of just one. It's one of the many parades that take place in Kansas every year. O is for one-room schools. At one time, most students in Kansas attended a one-room school, like the one in this picture. Students sat in the same room with their younger and older brothers, sisters, and friends. One teacher taught everyone. A wood stove kept the school warm and was used to heat the lunches that students brought from home. As each grade recited their lessons in the front of the schoolroom, the other students worked on their lessons at their desks. P is for Pizza Hut. Raise your hand if you like pizza. I know I do, my hand is up. Did you know that at one time most people in Kansas had not heard of pizza? In fact, a lot of people in the United States hadn't heard of pizza. Two brothers in Wichita had an opportunity to start a new business and they decided to open a restaurant that served pizza. They wanted to introduce Wichita to a food they had recently been introduced to themselves. The brothers named their restaurant Pizza Hut. People in Wichita liked pizza, and people who lived outside Wichita liked pizza. And soon, Pizza Hut restaurants could be found not just in Wichita, and not just in Kansas, but across the United States. Q is for quilts, especially quilts that tell us about Kansas. This is one of those quilts. The state of Kansas can be divided into 105 counties, and each one of those 105 counties made a square for this quilt. Each square tells us something important about the county that made it. And since every county is different, every square is different. Do you see the orange square near the middle of the quilt? The one that looks like a jack-o'-lantern? Montgomery County made that square to tell people about a famous parade that happens every year in Montgomery County. 
Raise your hand if you can guess what parade that square represents. If you guess the Niwala Parade, the parade we just talked about, you were right. R is for ranching. Ranching is very important in Kansas, and cattle is what can be found on most Kansas ranches. Soon after Kansas became a state, people started to bring their cattle here. They discovered that eating Kansas grass made their cattle very healthy, and there have been ranches here ever since. The rancher in this picture is riding a horse, but today ranchers sometimes ride ATVs too. Whatever ranchers ride, they need to be able to move around the ranch to take care of their cattle. S is for sunset, and Kansas is known for its colorful sunsets. The sky at the end of the day often turns brilliant shades of pink, orange, and yellow as the sun gets lower and lower in the sky. Sunsets happen everywhere in the world, but because much of Kansas is so wide open, we can see them better here than people who live by mountains or tall trees. The sunsets in Kansas are so great that people take pictures of them. In fact, someone counted the number of sunset pictures on the internet and Kansas ranked 10th in the world for the number of sunset photos posted on Instagram. T is for trains. Railroad trains carry people and they also carry things that people need, like the train in this picture. Trains were very important for Kansans even before Kansas became a state. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway was one of the largest railroad companies in the United States, and it was started in Kansas to provide a fast way to travel to Santa Fe, New Mexico, from the Kansas towns of Atchison and Topeka. U is for underground, because what is underground in Kansas is very important, not just to Kansans, but to people around the world. Some things underground get dug up like salt, gypsum, and zinc. Not all of those are dug up exactly like these men in the picture are digging coal, but it's still necessary to go underground to reach them. Some things are brought to the surface with pumps, like the petroleum used to make gas for our cars, the helium used in hospitals and to make balloons float into the air, and the water that people and animals drink and that farmers use to water their fields. And we should not forget the nutrients that are in the ground itself. Seeds that farmers plant underground in the soil grow food eaten by people around the world, as well as us here in Kansas. Those same nutrients make the grass healthy for all the cattle living on Kansas ranches. V is for vitamins. Vitamins are something our bodies need to be healthy and grow strong. They're in the food we eat and even in the sunshine coming through the windows. Sometimes we need more vitamins than we get in our food, and we're able to buy bottles of vitamin supplements like the ones in this picture. We can thank a Kansan, Elmer McCullum, for the discovery of vitamins A, B, D, and E. W is for wetlands. A wetland is an area where shallow water covers the ground all year. One reason wetlands are important is because they are home to so many types of birds and animals. Cheyenne Bottoms here in Kansas is recognized as being a wetland of worldwide importance. Over a quarter million waterfall and tens of thousands of shorebirds stop at Cheyenne Bottoms each year to feed and rest on their annual migration. One of these birds is the whooping crane pictured here at Cheyenne Bottoms. Whooping cranes are the tallest birds in North America and are on the endangered species list. This means that they're very rare, and Kansas is lucky that we can help them survive. X is for X-ray vision, one of the superpowers that Superman uses to keep the world safe. X-ray vision allows this superhero to see through everything except lead. Superman is originally from the planet Krypton, but his parents put him on a spacecraft and sent him away to keep him safe when he was just a small baby. The spacecraft crashed near the fictional town of Smallville, Kansas, and that became Superman's home. Smallville is a fictional town, which means it isn't real, 
but the real town of Hutchison, Kansas, actually changed its name to Smallville, Kansas for one day in honor of Superman. Y is for yellow, the color of sunflowers. The wild native sunflower is the state flower of Kansas. It was the first state symbol the legislature chose to represent Kansas. Even before the sunflower became a state symbol, Kansas was known as the sunflower state. It is a bright, cheery yellow flower that likes to keep its face turned to the sun. Z is for zoos. Kansas has many zoos where we can learn about animals. They're home to animals who live in the wild in Kansas, like this bobcat. They're also home to animals like elephants, giraffes, and penguins that live in the wild far away. Zoos also help preserve animals who are threatened by extinction. Zoos are one reason we can still see bison in the wild today. When there were very few bison left in the wild, some of them were placed in zoos where they were cared for until it was safe to turn them loose in the wild again. So, as you can see, Kansas is the place to be. We saw Kansas A to Z. Those were our 26 choices for Kansas from A to Z, but I'm sure many of you have other choices that you would like to share.